Greetings family, Bomani Tayamba here and we are here in Jahadzi on our Black Star Pan-African community land. And we have Kim. Uh, Kim, before you go, uh, Kim and Terry, before you go, just trying to get a recording of your land. Oh, okay. And also for Terry to share some information. Oh, okay. Come along. This is my build. My name is Kim Curry Goldsby. This is my work site, my build site, and this is my builder, Terry, from Hero for Construction. And he's an excellent builder, and I would recommend him. He has walked me through step by step everything that I need to know, everything. We've gone over everything. He was raised in the U.S., so he understands what I'm looking for completely. Right. And again, I would highly recommend him for anyone who's looking for a builder. Now take it away, Terry. Thank you, Kim, thank you. Right. Um, so what we have here is pretty much plot 29. Kim has a corner lot. Um, there's a road to our left, and then there's a road also to our right. Um, she has a three bedroom house. We're currently um, constructing the foundation phase. We're almost complete here. Um, so. When we're done, then we'll start the superstructure. Um, so that's what's going on here, as far as uh, Kim's side is concerned. Excellent, excellent. And this is our brother, oh, Sylvia, right here. Paper? Yes. And, I, and uh, just want to make sure, um, so once we, when someone knows their plots, the dimensions that you lined up, they all coordinate based on the coordinates. Line up are perfect. So that is fitted into your, exactly. how you've been able to do everything? Exactly. Yeah. So we pretty much, um, Go by the coordinates that the surveyor gives us. This is Ivan's uh, good guy. And then, um, you know, we um, build a house accordingly uh, as far as the space around the house, um, in front of the house, to the side of the house, etc. So, depending on the building plan that the client picks. Um, so, that's that's pretty much a gist of what's happening here specifically on this side. Well, perfect. Um, when people look at the video, they're going to see a house that's designed a different method and then they're going to see this method. Yeah. Uh, just trying to give people clarity that you have more than one or yeah, two methods. So this method is a, the traditional method. Um, this method has been proven, tried and proven. Um, you know, we use rebar, uh, cement, concrete, um, aggregate, you know, um, to kind of like make sure we have a solid structure. Um, one thing I wanted to say to everyone is that the neighborhood is up and coming. It's a great neighborhood, it's a great area. Wow. Um, the main thing I see right now that would help is everybody who's not even ready to build, who owns a property, should construct a wall. You All know, right. once Good we point. construct the wall in this property, we'll be able to demarcate the roads. So, for example, if you look out, it looks like bare land. But once everybody just constructs a road, even if, I mean, a, a wall, even if you're not ready to build, it will kind of like help with the uh, water erosion and of the land and all that stuff because I've had a lot of comments regarding that, um, you know, so that will demarcate everybody's property. It will help with encroachment and issues. And also we have something called uh, possession, taking possession of your property. So if you have property, it shouldn't just lay down dormant without any activity. So with you building a wall, it's you taking possession of your, your property, your land, you know. And then when you're ready, you already have uh, your boundaries in place, you already know everything. And then that helps the community as a whole because there's roads now. Even though there's not a real road construction, but there's, you know, a layout of the whole community and you can kind of like move around and understand it a lot better. Right. So I'll suggest that everybody, um, you know, think about it. And if they are ready, they can contact us, Growth for Construction, and we can do that for you. Um, you know, so we can fabricate the gates um, for the property, and then we can build a wall around the property. Um, you know, so that's some of the information that I feel like I need to get out there. Right, good. Yeah, that's perfect, family. So these are the two foundational homes and we're trying to give you as much information as possible. And uh, that way we just build this up. Um, literally about 20 months ago, this was just all raw land. So uh, we're just working it little by little. Anything else you want to share? Um, yeah. Anyone have any? Oh no, yeah, we definitely get to your property. And what we want to do is make sure that um, we take some pictures right here and everything. Okay. So just get, a nice one last view of this.
Okay. The raw foundation. And then we take some. Then we take some thank photos. You. Thank you. Thank you. And then we we'll move to George. The over there. Over there. You, you heard which way? That way. Oh, we're gonna look in the map. And then the survey is right here. The survey is here. Yes, sir. Block twenty-seven. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, it's 27. Yeah, he's taking. Alright, so family, um, the journey continues now. We have more plots to show you.